Three bets here from Chris Brewer as he's showing off some more of that aggression. On the button, 3,500 to go, he says. Jason Kuhn with that oh-so-pretty Jack-10 suited. Opened, defended, and now flops himself top pair on a texture that really is dusty for the King-8 of clubs. A quick check from Jason and a quick incineration of 2K from Chris Brewer, barring a big, beautiful king for him on the turn. Jason makes the call. Check. Turn is a queen. Jason again checking. He said, I don't need your king, Ali. Ace or queen will do as well. 14,000 into 12, and this has been really the MO for Chris Brewer is these overbets, and you see how uncomfortable it can make your opponent because even if Jason suspects he has the best hand and comes with this $14,000 call, he'll be out of position in a $40,000 pot on the river with a texture that may get even worse. And we've seen Chris Brewer bet 2x pot on the river, too. You might be facing 52k if you want to see if your jack is good. And it's that sort of planning ahead that really influences the decisions at these moments in pots. Oh, and you saw Jason. Sorry about that. Felt like he wanted to make the call and then just rerouted at the very end. So nice execution there from Chris Brewer. Played probably for like six months, never cashed out any chips or anything. Yeah. Just had a fake. And then like on his 24th birthday, he went to cash out the chips and handed them his ID. And they just looked at it and they just started like, laughing because they're like, oh, you just called 21. <laughs> it was uh, Jeff. <laughs> oh. Raised 1,200. That's, <laughs> That's strong. <laughs> and I'm not necessarily talking about the $1,200 open from Chrissy B, like, which has Jason Coons Ace 8 in a bad shape. I just figure, like, you know what? <laughs> well, the biggest game is 2550 I just showed up one day with like 80K in cash since I was 19. And they're like, hey, sir, where's your ID? So I just was like, oh, let me look for it. And just kept pulling out bricks of cash. Right. And I assumed they'd be like, now, of course, you can play. Right. It didn't work. It didn't work. work. It didn't work. And they were like, convinced. I was just, but money. <laughs> that's just how I thought. Big pile of money. They're like, oh, of course you're 21. <laughs> right. Sir, do you want some champagne? Right. <laughs> My friend tried to do that with um, Bellagio North Valet. You need a Noir card to valet there. <laughs> and they asked for his Noir card. And he just had, he had like 200K in cash or something. And he just like started pouring cash onto the passenger seat. Like, where's my card? Where's my card? They, let, they let him go in. Oh, it worked. Yeah, it did work. <laughs> At Ari, I was running oh. late. And they were like, oh, okay. sorry, it's only more cars. And I'm like, hey, man, here's $100. Yeah, park no. my car. And the guy says, no. Look at oh, this. Wow. I mean, what do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No? Wait, this in isn't how this works here? After three betting his ace eight. <laughs> I did not have to laugh. Pops what, what looks like it could no. be a useful board. <laughs> no. That's all I have. But he's crushed oh, by Vic Nell, who has backdoor nut diamonds and trick jacks. It's like 50 should work automatically. And right. 100 is just like, yeah, yeah. The, the guy was like, you can go Ohio. <laughs> yeah, you might even how, know how New York, you know? Exactly? Yeah. When do you have to be there? Like 200? <laughs> yeah. That one, I was just like, you know, like. Oh, you know, George Whittle, he's like, this guy can go Ohio. Yeah, he's like, he, knew, he knew who you were, yeah. Vic Nell calls the 2400 and then added troubles for Jason Kuhn on the turn. That's like As the he oldest. Improves he from an eight to, to an ace. He would get in trouble if he did it. That's like a coach. Now aces and jacks playing the board mm -hmm. kicker. Oh, during COVID. Yeah. But Chrissy B, jacks full of aces. You see at the top right of your screen the lone card that would rescue Jason Kuhn, the ace of hearts. Forty-two. At 
$4,200 turn bet as things slowly escalate. I can, I can imagine the scene of like a 19 year old you and they're like, sir, where's your ID? And you just like, one second please. And you just keep going, he's like, this, I'm good, right? No, <laughs> where's your ID? <laughs> now, flats the 4200 slow playing things and now yeah. Kuhn has to wonder Did you play a lot when you're what he's up against. Um, yeah. Really? I only played once. Oh, uh, I wasn't, I mean, I played online mostly. But That's what I meant. I'm saying, like, I only played once. 22,000 in the middle. And will Kuhn come down. with some sort of defensive um, sizing here? No. He's going to check. At 19, I started going to Europe. That's not, that doesn't count. Okay. So yeah, I'm saying, like, not with then. No, I didn't. Like, okay. you're playing high stakes poker with you when you won, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm saying. You think like, they let me on the no, turn? No, no, no. I'm all, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all meant, <laughs> I'm all meant the other way around. Like, it's crazy that you hadn't played in a casino and then you're playing on that. <laughs> no, no. I, was, I think high stakes was like 22 or 20. Big 20K 20 20 20 bet comes I out of big now here. It's really another spot year. where I just have, like, the quintessential bluff catcher. Like, it's got to be worth just, like, a lot to call on. I'm dead. But I can't hold this one. I'm going to give you the money. Well, you could be bluffing, but if you have a value hand, I'm giving you the money. Ouch. It. Trying to bluff him off a chop, huh? <laughs> Could I have uh, 50, please? Thank you. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. You're like, what are you like? Ah, you can play. <laughs> Coon, back to the well. Oh, no, I had already. I played now stuck almost 100,000. Sean might have been playing with light sockets at a very young age. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bit of the crazy eye. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he is really the trolliest. Oh, it's that yeah, grin. Like it's that, that smile that he has. It just, Maniacal. you never know <laughs> if you are <laughs> totally What's getting trolled yeah. or he's being dead serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dan Smith flatted with 10 8 suited. Speculating and coming up short on the Queen Queen 4 board where Chris Brewer decides to play these jacks a little slippery. And pretty deflating to see the check raise on the flop. You might be wondering, well, what the hell is Dan Smith mm -hmm. doing calling an extra 2,000, Jamie, after he got check raised on that board? But backdoor potential. Position is powerful. Looking to pick up some equity backdoor. And he understands that Chris Brewer isn't always going to have a hand here. He's going to approach things in a balanced manner. But that is such a wet turn card as even naked ace highs have turned into aces up. Spades have gotten there. And Brewer somewhat concerned by the fact that Smith called the check raise, slows down with his jacks. And this is the other benefit of floating, which is calling with a hand that really isn't anything to speak of on the flop, is even if you are unimproved on the turn, if your opponent happens to check to you on that turn, you can do something like what Dan's doing here. Just a one-third sizing. Looks so credible. Like, please call me. I've got good stuff. Smith could certainly have an ace, spades, or a queen. And yet, Brewer understands that he's up against a very sophisticated opponent. So he makes the call with the two jacks. Now the board double pairs on the river. I wonder how Dan's going to handle this situation.
Look at Chrissy B studying Dan here intently. As well as Brewer. She is mm. very intense. And Smith. Barreling one more time, 12K, and we didn't get a look at it, but Chris Brewer sends those two jacks into the muck, and they were far and away the best team. 100%. I actually had a very awkward moment because this guy was like one of the worst people I've ever played with. Just horrible. Mean to dealers, mean everyone. We go to cash out at the same time. He's like, hey, do you want to hang out sometime? I'm like, no, not even a little bit. And he's like, oh, I'm not like this off the table. He's like, not in real life. And I was like, right. how is this not real life? He just anger. upset everyone. Yeah, it was crazy. Everyone hated him. That's even makes him worse. Yeah. So it's an act. Try to make more money. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Ew. The mucking with the middle yeah. fingers is what. Yeah, that's what we might have. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty notable thing. And he'll like push it to the corner sometimes, too. So it's like hard to grab. Oh, it, was, it was like the most sociopathic thing I've yeah. seen. I played with this dude at PCA one year, and he would. The only way he would check is he would go. <laughs> so for like eight you hours, the action would be on him, and he'd just be like. <laughs> wouldn't say a word to anybody. I'm just, what is going on? <laughs> Just looks at you. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. That's good. <laughs> For the one more card. <laughs> Chrissy, check raising with her gut shot straight the, draw, and yeah. her five is in fact the just a blocker to finger guns check. Though. Who knows? Yeah. I've never seen that. Open ender. <laughs> La the most I would was where I would like play with people. Huh. I'm like I can't imagine you existing outside of the casino. But I was like, we'll play in like 100, 200. So like, I guess you do. <laughs> so I guess you, you do exist. Awesome. <laughs> Just like, what is going on? <laughs> like in Vegas, like most of the people I play with, like, I'm like, oh yeah, no, like I see it. Like you have a job, you just like to play. Yeah. Some people you just can't see. LA was so weird. the extra 2700 after Chrissy check raised him and here she is with the range advantage having defended from the big blind barreling away once more 7200 having improved to a two-way straight draw at a good chunk of time and then makes the call and binks the nuts on the river. Would have been a little bit more interesting to see how things would have developed had Bruno not made the nuts. And Chrissy has now bloated this thing to 25K. And she's got to be wondering where Bruno's at at this point. Busted spades, perhaps her really only hope she sort of blocks that slightly with the five of spades in her hand and there's some pretty relevant spade to the there's hold. There's some pair and flush draw combinations, pair and straight draw combinations that she could get to fold with the third barrel too, I would think. Well, there will be no folding on the end by Bruno. And this becomes a matter of whether or not Chrissy thinks that she can get one through and she's reaching for chips like she does and kiss those goodbye. Sizing wise, it could have been a much larger self inflicted wound, but she comes with 8,800 and now Bruno. Doing backflips inside after seeing that 10 of clubs is going to give it its proper due before coming with the raise. Hazard a guess at the number? 27. <laughs> Total. Yeah. It was quiet. I, I, ex yeah. I have no idea. I just like yeah. guessing. <laughs> it's going to be a. 
a more noticeable one than others. Can I change my answer? 32. 32? Yeah. What you got? To make it a full pot size raise? What you got? Or is that short of that? Figure the Ooh, first four. nine goes in. It's 43. 38.5. Yeah, Chrissy doesn't make a meal of it. So Snap mugs. Dan Smith is so entertaining to me. It's great. It was funny. We broke out the four-color deck, and then it was like online Wait, poker. I was like, that. Well, yeah, <laughs> we triggered crazy. something deep yeah. in the amygdala. <laughs> yeah, seems pretty easy. Yeah. One of two hands. What happened? I'm not doing it. <laughs> Six more suited. Last hand of the night. Smith sprinkles a dime out there. Chrissy B flats with the sevens, and now Bruno wakes up with ace king out of the big blind. Will he play nice? Just run into the no shot. Not good until everyone you're scared in the last game. Yeah. Sheds Dan, but Chrissy's got a little something cooking. Yeah. Truly, truly, matches giants. Yeah. It's for you guys. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Oh yeah. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Big Nell will take one last crack and clawing back some of her losses <laughs> on the session. With these two sevens, let's see what kind of board texture the stub has in store for her. That's that. 14.6 in the middle, and the sevens are still good, but staring at two over cards. Bruno with the king of clubs and the two overs. Has control of the betting, but is out of position. Bet of 4,500 gets called by Chrissy. And that's a very clean turn card for her. Pot up to 23 and change now. Man, we have an offsuit king away, so you get put in the fucking blindle. Oh, no, offsuit off, off king, you're in the blender. <laughs> offsuit king? Yeah. Oh, you have ace queen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I thought when I said high one, I mean yeah, ace, ace queen always king. Yeah. You yeah. said high one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got king queen too, I guess. Could have a king queen suited. Check. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Bruno doesn't have another barrel in him. I mean, Jack 10 8. No, like obviously you get to the bivol. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think you were checking back king queen. Yeah, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not have the king queen. I would have I got to win the pot if that was the case. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you would have felt yeah, it. 7,500. <laughs> Chrissy steps up with a bet of 7,500. <laughs> Long con. All is. <laughs> All there ever is and will be. How sticky is Bruno feeling like getting here? Certainly a lot of draws on this flop, Jamie, that didn't come in on this turn. Yeah, the ace. Offsuit, offsuit ace. But are they the sorts of draws that she would have called the third scoop with? Queen 10, 10, 8? Put all of it in. Probably not, Tenny. And you know what? <laughs> There's this weird feeling when last hand is announced. Yeah. You just don't know if someone's like desperate to try to win a pot. I think they're all professionals and probably not like that, but maybe you add 5% of Oh, yeah. savagery here from yeah. Bruno. Wow. Check raises all in. And nice hand. Just a snap fold from <sighs> Chrissy B. So um, yeah, just count your stuff. to the very just last moment, Bruno Firth with the paper, Warrior Spirit. <laughs>